Vettel121 here and welcome back to Final Fantasy XII International and as you can see here we are in the Necro Hall of Nabudis, the cloister of the Highborn and I want to talk to the secret merchant here because we can actually buy one last thing, well actually a few things but uh, let's see, oh wait no we don't want to sell uh, yeah he doesn't sell any new accessories anything that I really care about but he does he does sell some new items here he sells high ethers which I actually bought 99 of them off screen uh, you can you can buy vanish gum moats here float moats which uh, well I have a time age so I don't really need them I guess I could pick them up anyways just in case I'm not using Fran but chances are I'm gonna be using Fran so it really doesn't matter and we can buy the Asunaga spell so, after buying the Asunaga spell, we now have all the spells in the game. So yeah, gotten all the spells in the game. So yeah, that'll be nice. Uh, Asunaga, I think the Monk Job class can use along with the White Mage. Uh, yeah, I think those are the only two classes that can actually use this uh, this spell here. And the Monk needs a uh, an Esper in order to learn it. I think uh, whatever whatever Esper I taught Bosch, but yeah, Bosch now has the uh, Asunaga spell, so yeah, that's definitely nice. So uh, now we're gonna head back to Rabinasta, cause uh, well, we need to check in on Mont Blanc, cause we haven't talked to him for a while. Oh yeah, in case you're wondering, uh, those items that I just bought from the Necro Hall of Nabudis are only available after the events at the Pharos uh, Lighthouse. Ritteranus or whatever the hell it's called so yeah a lot of those items weren't there weren't available to buy there uh, before those events in case you didn't notice from or don't remember from previous videos all right we get 1800 gil yay and we beat Daedalus yay and we get some more gil that I don't care about yeah we defeated the tyrant we get some more gill. Yes, we defeated the Hydro. And we get some more gill. Yes, we now command 13 espers. Alright, we get a Serpentarius. That's uh, another rare item that I think is for a bizarre recipe. I can't remember exactly what it's for. I'd have to look it up. And okay, Mont Blanc's got some new hunts for us. Whitecap Wench. Okay. Some Belfenheim, I guess. Alrighty. Yeah, yeah, somewhere in Belfenheim. And the Seer. Okay. Four other meanies with it. Hmm. And the petitioner is already Mont Blanc. Yeah. I yeah, I'm listening. Yeah, I accept. Okay, yeah, this this one's at the Pharos at Ritterana. There's actually a new area we can explore there now, I believe. I don't think we'll be going there quite yet, though. We want to want to do some other hunts first. So, uh, yeah. Good stuff. Now, I'm going to be going to the Aerodome and flying basically, uh, well, between locations, like different towns and such. So we get a warning saying something about, uh, well, we're going to be going after the death gaze, so yeah. Uh, when you go to the aerodome and you fly in the airship, uh, you'll get a warning that a monster has appeared on the ship and, you know, it's terrorizing stuff and that's when the hunt uh, will begin there. So uh, yeah, I've already initiated that hunt in one of the previous videos, I think it was like 10 videos ago or something like that, so uh, yeah, whatever, let's, uh, let's do that next. Alright, after about 30 freaking times, I think, of actually trying to uh, fly in between cities, finally, 
Other adventurers on board? Death Case is attacking the ship. Yeah, and we're gonna volunteer to fight it. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, this should be a real easy mark, actually. There's an easy, cheesy way to take out this guy. Otherwise, he's a pain in the ass. He likes to use cheap paling abilities that make him immune to physical attacks, so whatever, I can be cheap too, so... I need to adjust some stuff, so I'll be right back. Okay then, we are going to be taking on Death Gaze, and I'm only going to be using Fran for this, for this fight here, this mark, because that's all it's going to take. Fran and her Esper. So yeah, let's do it, man. Yeah, there's an easy, cheesy way of taking out this guy. This guy uses really, really cheap paling abilities that nullify, like, physical and magical attacks, so, uh... Yeah, that's just not good, so what I'm going to do is go ahead and summon Zodiac here. Yeah, bubble spell, whatever. Okay, now I want to turn Zodiac Gambit's off for now. And with Fran, I want to jump up here and use a dispel, use a dispel moat. Fuck, man. On uh, Death Gaze. So yeah, we'll go ahead and do that. Okay, that'll piss him off a little bit, but yeah, I want to go ahead now and use a reverse moat on Death Gaze now. Okay, now that we have Reverse on Death Gaze, I want to go ahead and use the Renew spell on Death Gaze. Now I have a Gambit set up for, uh, for, uh, Foe Status Reverse, so, uh, Fran should be, uh, oh, okay, yeah, there you go. Yeah, Cure, Renew and then Cure Spell right afterwards takes, makes quick work in Death Gaze, so, so yeah, I mean, that's incredibly easy. It's a cheap way to beat him, but it's a lot better than trying to fight this guy. He uses a lot of status ailments. Uh, yeah, he's got that cheap healing ability that lasts forever. I mean, in my test battles, it lasted forever. Like, it never wears off. So you're better off just using that strategy. So, uh, yeah, I guess I can dismiss Zordiark now. So, yeah, there you go easy enough hunt if you know the cheap strategy to beat him so yeah that's it all right you little bastard give me my reward yes we killed death case he was freaking easy yeah 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 here's of my own oh, okay yeah these people must be rich or something I don't know they must be rich yeah. Yeah, okay. I don't care to listen in on their squabbling. Just give me my freaking reward already. Are you serious? That's all I get for this? Wow, that's crap. Alright, here's the next hunt. We gotta talk to Miklio. Yeah. And he speaks of... Diabolos. Okay, sure. Oh, it leaves deep, deep in the Lusu mines, huh? Okay. Alrighty then. Alright, I guess we're gonna be taking on. Diabolos next, so yeah, I'll meet you where you can find him. Alright, we are now in the Lusu Mines, and this is the location right here where you can find the next mark, uh, Diabolos or whatever, I can't pronounce his name, but anyways, uh, yeah, I'm gonna show off another Esper in this battle, might as well. Uh, this next mark we're gonna be fighting is gonna be weak to water. So, uh, I want to take advantage of that. Fanfreed is, uh, water elemental, so... 
he should be able to deal really good damage to this next mark. Of course, this next mark is also going to be able to deal good damage to uh, to Famfried as well, but that's alright. It should be fine. I got a gambit for X potions, so it should be alright. Yeah, I just want to stay out of, out of this guy's way, so uh, he doesn't target Penelo. This guy can put status ailments on you, so it's kind of a good idea to use an Esper for this because, uh, well, because of the status ailments, and Espers are not affected by status ailments. Okay. Yeah, I think this guy's pretty close to dying, so we'll go ahead and uh, finish this guy off with some style and use Tsunami on him. Might as well show it off. Now granted, I could have just used Balthier's gun and the Aqua Shot to easily take out this guy too, but I figured it'd be a good battle to show off an Esper. Seeing as Famfreet is, uh, well, it's Water Elemental, so he does good damage with Water Attacks, and the Water Spell, well, quite frankly, sucks. and. There's only like a level 1 water spell, there's no level 2 or level 3 water spell, so if you want to deal good elemental water damage to enemies, you can use the Famfreed Esper, so yeah, there you go. Unfortunately, this Esper is not acquired until, of course, late in the game. So. Alright, back in Ju Bujerba, I should say, we're going to talk to Mikleo again. Yes, we defeated him. He was incredibly easy. And we get 2600 gil, a demon shield, and a Zeus mace. Well, well the demon shield might be alright, but the Zeus mace, yeah, I don't care about because that is a weapon for a red mage. So, yeah, I don't really care. Huh? Oh, okay, those other kids were thinking this too. Alright, alright kids, see you later. What, what, they're dead? They were ghosts? Wow, that's messed up. That is really messed up. What, what, what did they go to, hell or something like that? I mean, wow, I don't even know what to say. Alright, we are back in Irut Village, and I think our petitioner is somewhere nearby. And yeah, it's Rena here. Can you feel it? This vileness on the wind, dulling the senses. I would have you vanquish this wild Marlboro. Okay. Another Marlboro, huh? Mist shrouded trails of the Feywood. So is it in the Golmore jungle or is it in the Feywood? Okay. Alright, well I guess we're going to be taking on the Wild Marlboro in the next episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy XII. This is Battle121, and I'll see you next time. Ooh, Elixir.